I'm going to be starting a new video series called $200 to $2,000 Bankroll Challenge where I'm going to be taking $200, buying cards, and seeing if I can turn it into $2,000 worth of cards. This is our hero, Kevin Lapter's Cards. Watch as he navigates the sports card world, buying cards at one price and selling it for much, much more. Can he get to $2,000? We don't know. The only thing we do know is he's very, very good looking. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Kevin Lapper's Cards. If you guys haven't done so yet, please like and subscribe to the channel. It would really appreciate it. And I'll let you guys stay up to date with the videos that I'm releasing. I'm gonna try my best to release videos about once a week or so. You know, I'm doing my best. And I'm also trying to constantly improve the channel. So if you guys have any comments or suggestions, please DM me at Kevin Lapper's Cards on IG. Here it is. Or you can just leave a comment in the video. That's also fine. But um, now let's get on to this video. This is episode two of the $200 to $2,000 bankroll challenge. If you guys haven't seen the first video, you know, feel free to go back and take a look. Put a link in the description below. Here's a thumbnail of what it looks like. But like, don't worry, I got you guys. 30 second update starts now. Boom. Last time on the $200 to $2,000 bankroll challenge, our hero, Kevin Lapis Cards, got his $200 and spend all of them on eight cards. Here's what they look like. Will this get him to the promised land of $2,000? We don't know. The only thing we do know is he's very, very good looking. Join him on his journey from $200 to $2,000. All right, now that everyone's caught up, it is time for the updates. Uh, I'm gonna start with the cards I've sold so far. So literally the day I released the first video, I sold my first card. So that card was a Venusaur base set Shadowless. Here's a picture of it over here. Um, like I told you guys in the last video, I bought it for about 60 bucks and I sold it for $140 on eBay. After fees, I which got netted $127.74 and then subtract a dollar for gas, I uh, netted $126.74. So minus the 60, my profit on the play is $66.74. Uh, really happy with that. Really jump starts the bankroll challenge and gives me a lot of ammunition to work with. Um, and then I made another sale. Uh, that sale happened two days later while I was in Vegas, I believe. Yes, I was in Vegas at the time for my friend um, Lois and Chris's wedding. And I sold the 2011 Noise Boys, Anthony Hardaway. So I bought it for $75 at Burbank. Um, I mentioned to you guys a little bit about this play during the last video where I bought it at Comps, but the comp went away on eBay. And sure enough, I was able to sell it at the price I mentioned in the video. I sold it for $145. So after eBay fees, I got $133.21 minus the dollar for gas and I got to 132.21. So after my initial investment, I made $67.21. So here's my tally on where my total value is between cards and, um, and money so far is, and I'm really happy with how the big row challenge is going so far, you know? So um, yeah, so let's get on to the purchases I've made. Cool, so now let me talk to you guys about what I've purchased for the challenge. So after I sold the Venusaur and the Noise Boys, I was able to, you know, get some cash and be liquid. So I, of course, I'm gonna go out there and purchase more cards. So I went out on Black Friday. If you guys haven't checked it out, I made a video on it. Here it is. There's some spoilers on what I purchased for the Big Girl Challenge, but I'm gonna kind of break down my thought process a little more here, as well as what I think I'm gonna be able to move all the cards for. So don't worry, you're still gonna get, you know, your bang for your buck for watching, you know, the next couple of minutes. So, um, I'm gonna be talking about all the cards that I purchased. First section, um, first group of cards I bought were from my boy DK. Here's his tag down below on IG. Um, I purchased five cards, all for $2 a piece. And I'm just gonna write what I think that I can move them for, um, for each card. So um, the first card was this SGC 95 Aaron Nesmith Optic Auto. Uh, bought it for two bucks. And I think I'm gonna move it for, Let's just say nine bucks. You know, I think nine bucks makes sense. I'll probably start at 10 and list it there. And you know, we'll see how that goes. 
Um, next card is this Malik Beasley Select um, number to 75 um, yellow die cut from his rookie year. Bought it for two bucks as well. This will probably be the card I make the least amount of money on. I will definitely start listing it at $9.99. I will probably have to end up selling it at five to six bucks. But you know, a win's a win, it's fine. Um, next card I bought were um, was this uh, Trey Jones Choice Prism, green, yellow, blue, uh, from his rookie class, of uh, rookie year. I bought it for two bucks as well. I think I'll be able to move this for, um, well, I'm gonna list it at 15, and I'll probably move it at 12. So um, yeah, like, Again, just profit spots, you know, move the bankroll up, you know, and last but not least this, uh, I got these two different Tyrese Halliburton. So I'll talk about the first one. That one was a silver pulsar Tyrese Halliburton from optic. I bought it for two bucks as well. And I think that I'll be able to move it for, you know, eight to 10 bucks. So let's just say nine bucks. And then the last card was a Tyrese Halliburton optic disco variation. Um, a card that card is like not really listed. The lowest listed was like 40 bucks, and I think sales are at like 20 ish. So I think I'm going to move it for around 20 bucks. We'll see, you know. Um, but anything could happen. Maybe I'm probably gonna start at 25 to be honest because there aren't too many available. So, um, we'll see how that goes, and I'll keep you guys posted on that. And the next, uh, I got Moist cards. Um, here's his IG Moist Sports cards. Um, give him a follow. Um, I bought a three card lot from him boom 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 and oh let me stay over here and he gave me the lot for 55 bucks so i have to put values on them so um let's go Jalen green i'm gonna value it at 30 the cade i'm gonna value it at 20 and the evan mobley i'm gonna value it at five so those are the values i put on all three of those cards they are forever those values at least in the bankroll challenge purposes and um, the Jalen Green, I might grade. I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I should be doing there. Uh, I'm going to figure it out in my next video. I'll give you guys an update. And then I also, um, not going to grade the other two. So those are just going to be selling. Uh, I believe the Cade can sell for between 30 and 40. So I'm going to make some sort of money on it. It just depends on, you know, I have to get a little lucky here if I want to hit the top of that range. Realistically, I'll hit the bottom of the range, like 33. But like, I think I can also hit 35, 37. So that's what I'm gonna aim for. And I hope I don't hit the bottom of the range. Either way, I'm gonna make 50% of my money. Same thing with the Evan Mobley. It goes for between 10 and 17 bucks. You know, I give it a value of five based on what I purchased all three cards for. So my goal is to move it for around 12 to $14. Cause I'm never trying to sit on cards. That's the reason why like, no, I'm not trying to hit top of ranges for everything. Only if I think I need to, or if I can. not you know, to be honest, I'm just trying to get off cards as quickly as possible, especially, especially stuff like that. With the markets going down, these three cards are candidates for just, you know, taking a nosedive. So even though I purchased things really well at a really good price, I would like to protect myself and make sure I come out on top with these plays. So you guys got to the end of episode two. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button. Please subscribe or check me out on IG Kevin Lapper's Cards. I had more content for this video, but I, you know, I'm trying to save a little bit for y'all. Trying to, you know, have more for the next one. So this video is updated as of the end of the Thanksgiving weekend. And don't worry, there's lots more different types of content coming out. Like Newport Showcase is, is this weekend. So I'm going to be putting out a vlog on that. I have a couple more different video ideas. I'm going to test the waters and see how you guys respond to it. But thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you guys have a good one.